wait to be away from all that. Can't wait to be away from all that. Anyway, so what we're doing today is we're taking down the sails because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take them over to a sail maker and get them, you know, we're gonna get them tuned up. And they're gonna go through the sails and kind of check and restitch and just make sure that the sails are as good to go as possible before we leave. Um, we're gonna have just enough time to go ahead and take care of this. We already went ahead and took down our, uh, our jib. So the jib's down. Unfortunately, we didn't. Unfortunately, we did not film us taking uh, the jib down. So I'm gonna try to do my best here because Madeline's got some stuff inside she's doing. So as you know, as we've said before, we have our Dutchman system here, which is our, we have our Dutchman system here. So in order to get the sail off, before we do anything, we have to take it out of here. So I'm gonna do my best to try to do this, but as you can see, it has a little pocket and it has these two little screws right here. So I'll take this these screws out so then I can pull the cord out. What I did was I took a marker and I marked here on the line so that I would know um, where to pull it back down to. So when I pull it back in, I know I have the proper tension on the uh, line and everything will be adjusted so we don't have to worry about it getting too far out of whack when we put the sail back in. So, all right, let's get this done and let's knock it out. So, yeah, I'm gonna do this. All right, I already took off our main pin here. Hooks onto our reefing hooks. So, let me get that done. And then I'm just gonna start uh, taking these down. Got our slide lock here. I'm gonna take this out. And then uh, once we get that done, we'll go ahead and do the outhaul. And we should be good to go. So hopefully it's not too windy today. Definitely don't want to lose these. Gives us a good opportunity to kind of inspect everything and check everything. We're gonna do a little bit of sanding here and just uh, kind of touch this up a little bit because we want to look at nice and neat and clean and get rid of any corrosion or weak spots or gives us a good chance to inspect the boom and the track and get a little bit of sandpaper in here, make sure everything runs smoothly so that it won't be so much of a hassle to get it out. It also lets me check everything up here too, make sure that our reefing hook, our yoke, all that good stuff is good to go. Tighten everything up up here. So this nut's a little bit loose. I'm gonna be tightening that up because God knows I do not want that coming out while we're underway. And yeah, let's get her done. Now I just have to go and take all the battens out of this and get it folded up and we should be good to go. So yeah. Let's knock this out. One of the other parts about uh, taking taking the sails down and all this mat is I have to take the battens out so that I can fold it up. So for those of you who don't know, the battens are these long fiberglass rods or slats that run all the way down the sail. And they help you keep its shape and uh, a little bit of integrity while you're under sail and stuff like that. It just keeps the sail straight. So um, 
part of getting that off is they have straps at the other end, which I'll show you here in a second. More, well, right there. Straps on the other side. And then, um, then on this end, they have these brackets. So these brackets are just some flathead screws. And what they do is they pinch on the end of it. So once you slide the batten all the way into the sail, once you slide the batten all the way into the sail, then you can clamp it down. It'll hold it here and then the strap will hold it in the back. So to make sure it's not gonna be moving forward or backwards or punching any holes in your sail. Here's actually a better picture of what you can see. So see this batten. This batten is held in by this little strap down here and what it does is velcro it in it's tucked in so that it can't come out the back and then on the front side of the sail or the loft luff, it will um the loft wow and then on the uh the part that goes against the that has the slides on it that goes up the mainsail or the mast see how it clamps it in so that it holds it in place so that it can't come out so then um, this one, we'll, as soon as I take that back one off, we'll slide right on out and we're good to go. To let you know, everything's not bikinis and boobs and beer. Um, organizing stuff on the boat can be challenging. So um, I just kinda got a talking to because I was wrong. And I was putting a lot of our electronics, like you know, the tablet and laptop and stuff like that and charging cables and cameras and the drone and all that stuff she went through all the trouble of cleaning the whole salon and I just kind of laid my stuff there okay so the sails are packed away we're gonna be taking them over here to the um, the sail maker to get them tuned up and uh, I don't know man I'm really hoping we don't have to, but we may have to buy a new main because there's just some parts in it. Unless they're miracle workers, I think it's going to cost us. So, but the jib looks good. So the sacrificial layer, we should be good just replacing that, doing some touch-up stitching, and it should be good. But yeah, and if we're going to get a new main, I think we're just going to go ahead and um, get a double reef in it too. So, all right. Well, anyway, let's get headed out. This, I noticed that you also did the Velcro here for that, which these were gone. <laughs> yeah, that's something that I really kind of changed. I want to get up to the top, and I'll show you with the top because I'll just pull out the first couple folds, okay. and we'll take a look at that batten pocket on how that how they play out. Because mm -hmm. I did change all of them. Yeah. I did change all of them for for one of the reasons I think I spoke to you one or two on the phone about uh, what was called a batten tool. Um, so many of them are done with a strap with a loop on the end that's sewn and you stick a batten stock, a short piece of batten stock, probably about 18 inches long, and you stick it inside the pocket. This is how this one was originally done. And there was Velcro sewn to the inside of that pocket and it made it to the Velcro on the webbing. You stuck it in, got the tension you wanted, then you put your hand down on it and just slid your slippery batten tool out and the Velcro held. Really kind of a clean arrangement. But you need to have the batten tool. It's a little difficult to work with, quote unquote, in the field. You know, or when you're out sailing, if something were to happen or some issues, or you needed to take the sail off and deal with it in some little island hamlet somewhere. It's a little awkward to deal with. This is going to be a little simple and simpler, and actually, we kind of call this kind of an offshore arrangement anyway. And I'll show you how this all plays out. Um, again, when your Dutchman cord came up, there was a little bit of chafing on the leech right here and a little I started to see a couple little vertical splits not enough to really merit any kind of big repair but I just backed this up with 2.2 ounce adhesive back and that's uh, insignia cloth 
Uh, it, it's, it's kind of a kind of a reinforcement, not really a repair, but a reinforcement, mm -hmm. just to give this area a little more, a little more rugged. Because actually, these little splits started to appear underneath of where I was putting this, so it's taken care of, but at the same time, um, working up. Uh, all this was good. Got a new satin pocket here, and now when I got up near the top. Here's something I want to deal with that one right there too. I want to do that right, oh, right wow. there. That's the one that was ripped. Now this is the one, yeah, you know, this, this is the one that was ripped. And and I want to kind of go through what I've done here. Same idea. I wanted to encompass this whole area with new material and I wanted to use that UVR Dacron. So this is kind of repair and a reinforcement. And again, any sun deck, sun that gets in here isn't going to degrade the sail because this is, you know, even yeah. uses the Dacron. Um, Again, the same concept of the four inch and then the two inch and then inside of that is that heavy maxi Definitely strap. So I got a real thick area here to pop that in. Um, something here I want to address before I send you away. I'll deal with that in a minute. Um, this one. Yeah, this one. We had a, this was the one that was kind of beaten up. This is the one that was beaten up really badly. Um, again, I've taken that apart and dealt mm -hmm. with this the same way we do at the top, but I put a new piece of folded three inch here because this was a little chewed up. So when the batten pocket was off, I put a new piece in there. This one didn't have any issue because it really didn't have the um, uh, monofilament cord coming out across the leech. Uh, new telltale. Everybody gets telltale. Yay! Yay! And that's the, one, that's the one you need. Sometimes you'll see people with a lot of telltales on their side. That's the one that yeah. reads best. So that's the one I put there. Now, up here at the top, on starboard side, I want to go this way. There's my first baton. I knew it existed in this world. <laughs> I knew it existed in this world. This is where I changed all the batons. This is a little more involved than I thought it was going to be. The price didn't change. I kind of absorbed this as kind of being my project. Um, again, I wanted to do these a little differently. So I've done a flap and flap, it's called. What I've got here is a heavy piece of inch and a three quarter strapping. Um, and I've even backed it up with a Dacron right here. Oh, nice. Side. This little Dacron piece is about that long. So this is called a flap and flap. Yeah, it's sewn into the body of the sail here okay and it's actually sewn through the platform of the batten pocket too the velcro inside is all gone now but you can see what you would do your batten goes in there, in there right goes in there slides all the way through pops in give it a little bit of a pull nothing dramatic just snug it up velcro down velcro down mm -hmm. and then you're good nice and you're good to go That's so you got awesome. no issues here again yes. a little bit of area was chewed up here and that had to do with, again, some of the monofilament cord comes right up in through here. So I put a new piece of folded three inch here. And I did that, of course, when the pocket was up. So what did to do? Um, I think the last thing I did, this new webbing on the headboard slide. I just do it as a matter of practice. This one takes a lot of load and gets a lot of UV. So I always do it. It only takes a moment to do it. So that was even it. So what are you doing? One more trip. We have one last one after this one. And uh, hopefully we'll move, move in and out. Yeah. We have clothes and all the other stuff we're working on projects. Our extra fuel can, water can. We've got our new fridge. Yeah, I'm excited about the fridge. I'm excited about my paddleboard. Let's go. Oh yeah, and the paddle board is, I'm carrying this because it's not going to fit in the cart. <laughs>